let them talk if they want to. Talk don't bother me. I want the whole wide world to know that I love. Welcome to Let Them Talk. I'm Paul DiRienzo. Miss Joan Marie Moosey is on assignment. But in the meantime, we're going to have a great show. With me is Tim Keating of Rainforest Relief. He's been here before, but a couple of years ago when we were talking about the Brad Will killing, and I know yeah. you were friends with Brad. But today, we're going to talk about something a little bit different. We're going to be talking about something very close to home, the use of rainforest wood by the city of New York in large construction projects in which really our tax money is, I'm going to hear it uh, from just like my perusing the emails I get, basically our tax money is being used to destroy rare old growth trees in rainforests around the world. Yeah. Is um, that true? Yeah, it's actually, uh, got it? the, the trees aren't necessarily rare, but mm -hmm. certainly the forests are. The forests that the trees yeah. are in, I and, see. Uh, you know, I'm going to just fix this, I'm sorry. Sure. There you go. Go ahead. Okay. The um, the reality uh, is in in old growth tropical rainforests, uh, especially we're talking about the um, uh, the most biodiverse ecosystems on the planet, and the re and so it, it's it's a full biological assessment of any of these forests have actually never been done. Mm -hmm. the, the truth of it is that. Uh, the estimates are that we probably know less than 10% of the actual species that exist on planet Earth, and that other 90% is most likely contained in tropical rainforests. So uh, they're unlike any other ecosystems on the planet mm -hmm. in terms of their level of diversity and thus their level of fragility. So logging uh, an old growth tropical rainforest, even in so-called certified operations or, or so-called low impact operations, has actually been shown to not be low impact. Um, it's just really almost impossible to, to commercially log. Uh, actually, according to one scientist, really is impossible to commercially log these forests without doing long-term permanent, somewhat permanent damage. Right, now where are some of these forests located? The ones that, in particular that we're gonna be talking about. Yeah, well, the Amazon is, is mm -hmm. uh, certainly the largest area of tropical rainforest in the world, uh, but also Africa, uh, mm -hmm. you know, um, 50% of Africa's rainforests have now been, been mm. cut uh, wow. or cleared away, um, but the, the other 50% or now probably a little less, um, we're, we're still, uh, New York City still obtaining quite a lot of hardwoods uh, out of those forests. And then the other large area of tropical rainforests uh, on the planet is Southeast Asia, uh, where, where Indonesia is, is the uh, largest area of, of rainforest, third largest area of rainforest in any one country. Um, uh, New York City doesn't use um, as much wood out of out of Indonesia or Southeast Asian forests, but certainly very very large quantities out of the Amazon and and a, a large amount out of Africa as well. Now let's take it home. Why does New York City need wood from rainforests? What does it use it for? Well, the, well, they don't need the wood from the rainforest. Uh, that, that's been a bone of contention right. of ours. But they use it for anything, everything from boardwalks to. Uh, uh, subway track ties, ferry terminal pilings, uh, Why? Uh, decking, park benches. Well, if you look at a purely economic uh, mm -hmm. standpoint for the city, having used mostly things like uh, pine and oak for these uses mm -hmm. in the past, um, when, you, when, you, when you look at uh, tropical hardwoods mm -hmm. for a park bench as opposed to yeah. uh, southern yellow pine, um, that wood will last probably 20, 15 to 20, 25 years if you're lucky in New York City. Uh, whereas the pine, you're talking probably something like seven to 10 years. So uh, in terms of saving maintenance costs, that, that move, that shift to hardwoods mm -hmm. makes sense. Now, the problem though is that uh, the city never really considered domestic hardwoods, number mm -hmm. one. They, mm -hmm. they had been using softwoods. They had been using softwoods on the boardwalk for forever. Uh, mostly um, Douglas fir, old growth Douglas fir in the case of New York City, but other, huh. other areas like Atlantic City was using uh, initially uh, uh, Atlantic white cedar and then eventually western red cedar. Um, these, are so these are soft woods. They're inherently durable though. Uh -huh. uh, uh, old growth uh, Douglas fir will last 40 years uh, on, on a decking situation uh, in the outdoors. But is that old growth as well? 
It is. We're, we're, not, we're not supportive of using that wood. But what happened was, in the 60s, the New York City Parks Department was uh, you know, sold eventually uh, on, on the idea of using hardwoods uh, by a company in Bayville, New Jersey called Greenheart Doorwoods, who had um, a product they were bringing in from Brazil called, they called Bethabara, um, but uh, now we know as Ipe. Uh, what and is Ipe? Ipe is a, uh, it, it, well, technically uh, it's a group of dozens of species of, of trees, whether they be small or, or, or large, um, that range from Central America into the Amazon um, in the Tebaboya genus. But there's about seven species of Ipe in trade as, as lumber. Mm -hmm. um, and unfortunately now, in large part because of the popularity uh, for New York City's boardwalks, and then eventually Atlantic City's boardwalks, and then Ocean City's boardwalks, and, and oh, wow. Wildwood, et cetera, et cetera, uh, Ipe uh, came to be such an incredibly popular wood. It was only um, 1995 that Ipe in the United States was still considered a lesser known species, really? even though Rainforest Relief had been fighting it since 1990, um, you know, in the beginning in, the, in Atlantic City. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then when we found out in 1994 that, that uh, New York City's boardwalks were made of it as well, so now, unfortunately, Ipe, believe it or not, is the single largest timber export out of Brazil. Let's that surpassed mahogany in 2002. Mahogany. Okay, let's, let's step back a little bit and define some terms that folks might not know what they mean. What do we mean by old growth? Well, you know, there's some, there's some bit of back and yeah. forth on this. So but to, but, we'll take your, your but really, uh, old growth is, is um, uh, a, a forest that has achieved certain characteristics that come over a long period of time without major disturbance. Sure. Some, some forests will achieve old growth characteristics in a couple of hundred years. Um, uh, others, you'll, you'll see it in, in many more hundreds of years, uh, real true old growth characteristics. Um, but uh, What are those characteristics? Now, when I say old growth, um, you know, it does include a lot of forests that have been cut in the past. For instance, if you look at Central America, the Mayans had cleared a lot of forest areas for their cities and whatnot. And, uh, and that was about a thousand years ago. So those forests have now come back. And, and if you go there, you, you can definitely see old growth characteristics. Although those are not then primary rainforests because they have been uh, right. cut by, oh, by people. See. Now, now the in the primary, Amazon, yeah, right. you're talking about mostly primary forests. Um, some, some old growth, uh, and, and you know, there comes other definitions into play as well, how large the areas are as to whether they're truly primary or, um, or you know, ancient forests. And so what we have uh, found, though, is, is that virtually 100% of New York City's tropical hardwoods are from primary forests. Primary forest. That means never before have been logged. Never that's before right. been logged by humans. Uh, maybe right. they were hit by a meteorite uh, 40 million years ago. Well, that's uh, yeah, actually, and that's the that's one of the things about tropical rainforests, especially in areas like the Amazon and, and uh, well, especially in the Amazon and Southeast Asia. You're talking about uh, forests that have been tropical forests.